Hi there, Dr. Rosie, the perfume lady. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a return subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate you. For those of you who are new, uh, if you like what you see, if you like my content, please uh, subscribe, comment, let me know that you are new here, and also share my videos with your friends and your colleagues. In a previous segment, of a video I made, I did, uh, called How to Get the Most Out of Your Fragrances, Part 1. I talked about what to do to make your fragrance last. In this video, Part 2 of How to Get the Most Out of Your Fragrances, I want to talk about things that you shouldn't do when you are fragrances. If you apply the, the previous concepts and then uh, this, uh, other set of concepts is not to do them and you will become a better fragrance person uh, and you will be able to get the most out of your fragrances you will avoid those mistakes that people make all the time people make mistakes sometimes is because they do not know any better so uh, we do research to uh, try to educate our viewers on what to do and what not to do when wearing fragrances. Fragrance is subjective. You can wear it whichever way you want, but there are some mistakes that you should avoid. I will be back. All right, are you still with me? So. Let's talk about things that you should avoid when wearing fragrances, avoid doing when wearing fragrances, and also I'm going to share some of my favorite body products with you to show you what I like to use. This is part two, and then I have five sets of combo fragrances that I, you know, things that I mix together. I'm going to share those with you. I'm trying to keep this video under 15 minutes, I promise you. I am going to make it. All right, trick number one of what not to do. Do not rub your perfume. Trick number two, perfumes, they do not cover up smell. So no, 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 do not wear them if you haven't showered. If you wake up in the morning and you are running late, you are not going to shower, it's best to skip wearing fragrance that day. Trick number three of what not to do, do not apply your fragrance on dry skin. Your skin must be damp, must be moisturized to apply the fragrance. It's better for you when your skin is moisturized because your moisturizer, believe it or not, is actually protecting your skin from the alcohol in the fragrance. Another trick is do not apply your fragrance on your clothes. It can damage your clothes, uh, and also it just doesn't do, do, do it justice. It might stay on your clothes for a very long time. Even if you send that outfit to the cleaners, it will still smell like that fragrance, especially sweaters. Do not wear your fragrances on your clothes. Do not apply perfume to underarms. They were not made for that. Take my word for it. Do not apply them to your underarm. Uh, you should be shaving your armpit, men or women, by the way. You can see my face because it's gross when you have hairy underarm hair, right? Unless, you know, if it's your culture, if it's your culture, I would say, you know, keep your uh, hair on, on your underarm. But if it's not your culture, if it's not part of your culture, please shave it off. Not wear perfumes under your arm because perfumes were not made to be worn under your arm. All right, now I'm gonna show you some of my favorite body products. Then I will go into showing you uh, the combinations that I use, perfumes and body lotion together, body cream and also body oils. All right, some of my favorite body products, okay? The first one is uh, L'Huile de Douche from L'Occitane. Oh my God, this is the shower oil. 
I love wearing the shower oil. As you can see, I have I purchased the biggest the biggest bottle. It's a little pricey, but it is well worth it, especially if you use it, you know, when it's really cold outside. Oh, that shower oil makes your skin feels absolutely great. Another favorite body product of mine is from the uh, Brazilian Bom Bom uh, Sol de Janeiro. Uh, this is the shower cream and this is the body scrub. Oh my gosh. I also love the body lotion and the body cream. I just did not bring it downstairs to show you, but these are absolutely great products to use. They smell really good. Sometimes you don't even have to use heavy perfume after you use these. You know, in the summer, you can just use this and then maybe spray a little bit, just maybe two sprays of fragrances and you would be set. Another great uh, body product that I use, this is the Night Serum from Moroccan Body Oil. Oh my gosh, this is so good. At night, after you work out, you uh, use a body uh, scrub and you take a really nice shower and then you put that night serum on your body. Oh, your body will feel so great and you will, then you wear your perfume. Oh my God, this is it. This is what it looks like. Your body will feel so absolutely nice when you go to bed. You will, I mean, it smells great also. It's very concentrated. So you only need, need a little bit of it to use. Uh, you know, I think I found mine at Nordstrom. That's where I usually buy it from. You know, it's, it's pricey. It's $62. But you know, it's your body. If you can spend $200, uh, $200 on a bottle of perfume, I'm sure you can spend $62 on a night serum for your body. The last uh, favorite body, body product that I use, this is Dr. Jackson's natural product. This is the Body Perfecting Gel. This is also a little pricey. I think it was about 60 something dollars. So I use this during the day. I don't use it often. Uh, sometimes I even forget that I have, you know, that I have it. But when I use this, it's absolutely nice. It makes your feel your skin feel really, really soft and and kind of like you know, uh, uh, kind of like silky. And so if you're going out, you're going out to dinner, you want something short sleeve, you might want to rub this on your arms and also your chest. It's it's beautiful. I mean. It doesn't have uh, some any kind of like heavy perfumery. It's great to use during the day. All right, let's get with the uh, perfume and body uh, lotion or body cream that I use together. So first combination is Rocherie from Guerlain. This is the perfume and the body lotion. Oh my God, probably my favorite uh, one from the La et la Matière. This is obsessing. I am like obsessed with this fragrance. Rose Sherry is such a beautiful calming fragrance and when you use the body lotion with it, oh my gosh. Uh, I can only find the body lotion directly from the Guerlain website. I haven't been able to find it anywhere else but if you like to mix your perfume and body lotion, I would say if you have Rose Sherry, you might want to invest into the body lotion. It's so beautiful. My second combination uh, is uh, Honor Body Cream uh, with the perfume. Oh my God, this is from, I mean, this is from Amouage. Who, oh, if you want to smell feminine, classy, sophisticated, this is the scent for you. This body cream speaks for itself. You can find them sometimes at the discounters. It is well worth it. I wish, you know, they made the body cream for all of the Amouage products because this one is absolutely stunning. The third combination, this is Central Park South. I know I spoke about this fragrance in a previous video and I made a mistake. I thought it was tuberose, but this is actually a jasmine balm. So I have the perfume and the body cream. Oh, I made perfect jasmine fragrance this is very lovely it's delicious and a clean fragrance this is a joy to wear together i usually wear uh, some kind of maybe vaseline uh, uh body uh, oil on my on my skin before i wear the body the body cream and then before i i, I put the perfume on and it lasts the entire day if you are a jasmine lover i would say try to get a tester for this because you will absolutely love that. Oh my gosh, I just love wearing it. 
Combination number four is one of my favorite fragrance that I have in my collection, which is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait de Parfum. And, oh my gosh, if you a Baccarat Rouge lover, and I hope you have the uh, body oil and the perfume hair and also the uh, body lotion. When you mix those four together, oh, 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 I tell you, you end up with something that is very extremely long lasting, high quality, rich and very rounded uh, scent on your body. You will smell like a million bucks. You will feel like a million bucks and people will give you compliments like there is no tomorrow. Again, the body lotion, the perfume for the hair, the body oil, and also the extra de prefer. My last uh, combination, combination number five for this video, this is Coco Noir with the body cream from Chanel. This is the Eau de Parfum and the body cream. My gosh, this is a confidence boosting, warm, spicy, and sexy scent. It's extremely long lasting. It's great for men and women. I know it's advertised for women, but men, gosh, I would love to smell this on a guy. This brings some positive emotions and mood. Oh my gosh. If you never try this with the body cream, I would say try with the body cream. You will absolutely feel the emotions and your moods of lip uplifting with this on. Oh, it is so sexy. All right, I'm done making a fool of myself, you know, talking about all these body products and the body lotion and body creams. Uh, if you have anything that you think I should try, please don't forget to drop me a line to let me know uh, some of your favorite body products and I would be more than happy to purchase them and try them. And I will come back and make another video about, you know, products that my subscribers have, you know, uh, told me to purchase. I would love to make that video. So, you know, don't forget to drop me a comment below to let me know what you think you use, what you use and what you think I would like. Again, Thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to buy the perfume, buy the body lotion, buy the body oil, uh, eat your dessert in moderation, love yourself, treat yourself, pamper yourself, and forget about the haters. They are all haters. They're going to hate. Just do you. Take care now. Have a good day. See you.